Do you ever wonder about the legacy of your last name? Find out at lastname.com. Get a historically accurate 1800 word history of your last name and a full color coat of arms print. Perfect for framing, these archival quality prints are destined to become family heirlooms. To see if we have one for your last name, call 1-800-746-1615 or visit us at lastname.com. Start with here is a good warm up tool. Any kind of weight, weighted club, anything, they're incredible. What you notice is as I try to swing this, I have pretty good muscle strength to maneuver and manipulate the club in whichever way I want. But with this weight on the end, it kind of restricts you a little bit. So what it helps you do is it helps you build up the correct muscles. As you notice, if I sped up too much and accelerated right up here at, at the top, which is very bad, you want to have the acceleration down by the ball. If I accelerate up here, I'm going to throw my back out. It's going to hurt. So you don't do that. Now, if my balance is on the wrong spot, you know, I put my weight in the wrong area, it makes you want to fall over. But if you can take it back, smooth and controlled, and accelerate through the shot and hold your finish, you're actually, this makes you hit the correct shot. Now, when you take it off, you always want to take a couple practice swings beforehand so you don't throw your back out because you're going to have so much more power this time. Suddenly, the club feels 10 times more lighter because it is. So from here, I always want you to take a practice swing. Whenever I get a student, I want a, a, a definite practice swing. What I do by doing that is I'm elongating the swing. Now, if I'm going to come up here and hit this ball, and I want to hit it consistently, I'm not going to come up and do that. I'm not going to just walk up and push it forward. I'm going to have some sort of a pre-shot routine. And as you notice, it's a lot more consistent when I take the club back longer, slower, and smoother. The whole time, the ball goes much better. I can also elongate the swing on the other side. By doing that and holding my finish, such as that, I'm elongating the swing on the back side. So I'm making the stuff down here a lot more consistent as long as I take it back long, slow, and smooth, and follow through long, slow, and smooth. Now from here, I like to concentrate on ball contact. Most people have a lot of trouble with that. Now, got a good vision here. Now from here, the idea of which, how to hit a ball in the air, a lot of people think it's the loft on the club that actually makes the ball go in the air. It's actually a mixture of different ideas. What happens is really the club is descending down on the ball and it pinches the ball between the club face and the earth and as it does that that's what gives the ball such height along with of course the spin caused by the dimples and the ridges here on the face but a lot of people have the idea that they just kind of pick it clean and swing flat but if I do that the ball almost never gets off the ground it'll come up a little bit but if you really want to get the ball in the air you have to concentrate on the front side of the ball when I pay attention to the front side of that ball, it always makes you want to actually swing down toward the ball. And you don't want to be afraid to actually swing down on it because that's the whole purpose of this thing. 